Hello everyone, it's Vivi and welcome back. So, why did he do it? Why did he make that choice out of any other possible choices out there? The guy I'm referring to is Mick Sweeney. This guy was the muscle of the former Cooper gang, Sly's father's gang for those unaware. Sly's father, at least according to the Sly Collection official strategy guide, is named Connor. If I ever happen to say the name Connor, that's me simply referring to Sly's father. Alright, since you're referring to McSweeney, what about him? What did he do exactly? According to Comic Issue 2, released in 2005, a comic which served as a mini prequel to Sly 3, McSweeney willingly turned himself in. And from what we can observe here, had Sly known about McSweeney's whereabouts prior, he would have broken him out of jail, the Heathrow Penitentiary in other words. This guy didn't even seem phased by Sly's comment, in fact, Mick Sweeney feels it ain't so bad being behind bars. If there's one thing which caused a bit of disruption, it's Sly trying to prove himself he's a real Cooper. Once he proves himself, it kickstarts the events of Sly 3. Sly finds the map to the Cooper vault. He realizes Mick Sweeney had hid it in a museum in Italy this whole time. A place which Sly actually remembers visiting with his dad when he was just three. Now, as for why we're placing importance on Mick Sweeney's decision to stay in prison, well, it has to do with the Sly Cooper novel. That's right, there was a novel released back in 2006 which served as an expansion of Comic Issue 1. Within this book, there's one line of dialogue which could potentially strongly resonate with Mick Sweeney's decision. Before I read it, let me just add a bit of context. In Comic Issue 1, Carmelita finds Sly and ties him in a closet. He escapes, and Carmelita's boss gets angry. Now what the novel adds to this whole situation? Sly feels bad that she wasn't able to catch him, not to mention the way her boss reacted about the situation. This is what's exactly written on page 67 of the book. Sly sighed. He felt sorry for Carmelita. He could always turn himself in. That would certainly help her. Then again, no self-respecting master thief would simply turn himself in. There had to be a better way. I've probably touched upon this same exact quote in the past, but let's dive a bit deeper. Let's highlight the big keywords of this statement. No self-respecting master thief would simply turn himself in. Huh. Applying that mindset onto McSweeney, you can't help but wonder, why is his situation different? Why did McSweeney decide to turn himself in, really? Applying the prior statement, is this because he, deep down, lacked self-respect? Yeah, this guy isn't Sly's father, but he was still a core part of the former Cooper gang. At least, that's what's been implied in this comic, like how they were pretty close and traveled the world together showing wannabe thieves how things were done. If his decision revolved around the lack of self-respect, should we believe that this has something to do with Dr. M? After all, on this same page, Mick Sweeney does say that things got heated when Sly was born. As for what exactly transpired between Dr. M and the crew, that's always been a mystery, but still interesting to discuss, nonetheless. Sure, the Heathrow Penitentiary ain't that bad according to him. Good food, library good and all. Even if so, out of all places, he decided to live in prison. I'm saying live because really, if you think about it, if Panda King can make it out of jail, heck, the guy buried houses under snow, not to mention he was involved in the night of the attack. He made it out. Surely Mick Sweeney's sentence would have been lifted at some point too. The comic makes it seem like he chose permanent residence, but in reality, if this were his permanent residence, then we'd be talking about a life sentence. What could possibly warrant a life sentence for Mick Sweeney? Is he simply that type of character? If he's simply completing his prison sentence, not to mention willingly, then surely something made him decide to make this decision. Perhaps he felt extreme remorse or guilt after he found out about the death of his best friend, Connor. He could have experienced survivor's guilt, in other words. He finds out his best friend died, wasn't there that night. Perhaps he thought he could have prevented the whole thing, or protected them even. 
This huge wave of guilt made him choose jail, thinking he didn't deserve freedom after that tragic ordeal. The comic states that Mick Sweeney saw Connor and Sly for one last time at the museum in Italy, taking two factors into consideration here. Sly was three years old during that time at the museum, and during the night of the attack, he was eight. Looking at these two different time periods, that would mean Mick Sweeney hadn't seen Connor for five years. Perhaps that too could have fueled or worsened his guilt of not being able to help his best friend's family during that horrible night. It could or could not be what went through his mind, but it's certainly a possibility. Let's also not ignore this one part. Who'd ever think to look in a prison for an old Cooper crony? If this were a matter of simply hiding, he could have simply escaped anywhere in the world. But perhaps he does have a point? Who would look in jail for a Cooper unless you're Sly Cooper? He could have also been hiding from, say, a certain person. If not for jail, Dr. M, for example, would have looked for him and found him. There's one thing we know for sure. Mick Sweeney has at least spent over a decade of his life in prison. How can we tell? If we assume Mick Sweeney turned himself in after the night of the attack, at least 12 to 13 years must have passed. Sly was 8 when he lost his parents. Sly is 21 in the third game. The comic takes place before the third game. So 8 plus 13, that makes 21. So again, more than 10 years in prison, surely he's learned the ins and outs of the Heathrow Penitentiary. With that in mind, they could use this as story potential. For some unknown reason, and yet important reason, one of us would have to revisit this place for intel. Could be Carmelita trying to look for Sly, gather as many clues as she can. We could talk to McSweeney again in actual gameplay form this time. Just imagine a prison break scenario in this place, a bunch of criminals trying to escape. McSweeney could use his knowledge of the place to try and help us out. It could be anything, really. McSweeney would pretty much act as a background support character to put it differently. What do you think about all this? Feel free to share your thoughts. Thanks for watching, a massive thank you to my patrons, and as usual, I've been Vivi, and until next time...